Hello again, Kons here. Uh, today I'm talking about the Frostfang Barith quest in a fairly easy way to, to get it quite quickly. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be playing video games or anything tomorrow, some stuff has come up. Uh, <laughs> and also today and maybe even the past few days, so um, yeah. That's the reason this run isn't too refined. This is my third kill of Frostfang and probably like my fourth attempt or fifth attempt maybe. Uh, it's Aerial Hammer, I'm just sort of messing around, I thought I'd show off uh, my strat for this. It's fairly consistent. Uh, I did it twice, basically. This is my second kill. Um, my first one was in about sort of six or seven minutes, and this one was in about slightly less than five. This could definitely get pushed down if you just know what you're doing. You'll see why in a second. But uh, at the start, I'm just going to enrage the bugger and uh, just uh, flint shot it twice as much as possible. I'm still trying to work out a good opener, so you'll see I whiff uh, a tenderized move. Uh, if you aren't aware, breaking uh, Barrier's wing arms, uh, topple it over. Uh, and given how much little health this monster has, basically every opportunity you can get for a stun like that, Cheesing this is really nice. Um, KOs, Gajalakas, that kind of thing. Uh, it doesn't take too many of those for the monster to immediately just die. Um, so yeah, take advantage of every break you can get. The two wing arms are really nice for this. Uh, I, I didn't really... Uh, I wasn't really using that kind of strategy because again, I was I was still messing around just trying to work out if Ariel is okay. Um, yeah, I'll probably revisit this run um, and actually get a good one. But uh, this is just uh, yeah, a place order because again, I don't know what's going to be happening with me. Sorry about this, uh, a little bit flustered because of the stuff. <laughs> Hopefully by tomorrow it'll be sorted. But anyway, I, I'm talking so vaguely, no one knows what I mean. But anyway, anyway. Uh, I like to pull it out over here because of the boa boas that are around and also because of the, uh, the obvious ledge. The other nice thing about this area is that when he limps, he will just fly back to the area. Oh, not fly back. He'll just run back to the area he was in previously. So if you do miss the trap that you should be using for like speed runs or whatever, it's very easy. You don't have to like chase him halfway across the uh, the whole of the whole thrust. And you can see I'm whiffing big time. Uh, aerial hammer. I still don't know the openings very well. There are a few really good ones. Uh, now I've noticed that this thing is quite susceptible to KO. Uh, I want to mess around with maybe using slugger on sets and stuff because I reckon you could get maybe two, even three KOs uh, and. Uh, Maybe the Frost Frank Barrier set bonus itself is really good for combating him, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, it's Aerial Hammer. I'm using a Frostcraft set. You can see that my uh, cat and the Boa Boas have uh, together created a paralysis. I actually don't remember what my cat's running. Um, the cat, in fact, I have Coral Horn at the moment, but the the, the stupid gong keeps like uh, interrupting me. Watch, like... <laughs> like, I'm hoping he comes towards the ledge, but he keeps getting delayed. Anyway. Another bit of faffing around, uh, I'm still not entirely sure how to handle some of these AIs. Uh, I should probably sharpen at some point and I will want Wild Rook Studies lasting. Um, the other thing is, Tenderize is expired. Uh, I could run some sort of no Tendy build, but uh, to be honest with you, the, the monster isn't too difficult to Tenderize. It's not like Alatrion or whatever, um, and so I, I have, I'm, I'm just relying on the, uh, the weakness exploit and waiting for a Clagger pretty much. But uh, yeah, so you can see my Frostcraft bar is getting low and also my sharpness is at white. Might have been worth adding some sharpness. I thought that I had Rocksteady while sharpening there, but uh, unluckily it just ran out. Uh, not a huge deal. But uh, yeah, Evasion Mantle, Rocksteady Mantle, and by the time you're done with both of them, uh, Barrier should easily be dead. If not, it won't take very long. So there are a few openings, uh, as I'm sure you probably found by now, fighting this thing. It's the Ice Breath that traps you, that's the big issue. Uh, I'm, I've gotten fairly decent at dodging it, uh, at least in my experience, you, you get kind of used to positioning away from it. Um, after a few hunts, but it is quite frustrating. The nice thing is about playing a Blade Master weapon though is that uh, even if you have Ruck Steady on and it slams you twice because it's in rage mode uh, after it traps you, you, you won't die. And usually you have more than enough time for that to not happen, but uh, it won't kill you. You'll have enough health. So just uh, with health boost 3, just make sure to stick somewhat close to full health uh, at most times if possible and you'll be okay. Uh, especially with the health augment on this uh, that recovers you so quickly. Yeah, Frostbearing has quite a few nice openings for Aerial if you can uh, keep it on the ground. It doesn't tend to stay in the air too long either, which is nice. Now, I could be being clever. Uh, Frostfang's wing arms have good uh, blunt hit zones, uh, if they, even though the sever isn't that great. They're not as good as the head, but uh, they're still fairly good, so I should be focusing those a little bit just to get a free knockdown. And I should also be keeping an eye on pods in health so I can trap it. The pod just dropped there, for example. I'm pretty sure that means it's within cap, within cap range. Well, I'm not 100% certain. Um, so yeah, this could definitely have been a much shorter run than it was. But uh, I, th I believe he limps. Yeah, he limps now. So when you see that second pod, it's basically time to trap. Uh, I actually didn't know that until the other day. Somebody told me. <laughs> so I should pay attention to it more. But uh, yeah. Not a very difficult run. It's Aerial Hammer, so it's not exactly complicated. Uh, I don't even know if I needed to commentate this. I barely talked about the, the, move, the move set and stuff, aside from a couple of things. But uh, yeah, it's, it's very typical stuff. You know how Aerial Hammer is. I do find it's quite nice for this fight because of how mobile it is. Yeah, you spend so much time jumping and moving with all that momentum that uh, you basically don't have to worry. And you can see that nice little sub-5 run. 
I have these set up on screen now. I will uh, just sort of talk about it in a bit more detail. It's very standard skills. Uh, I've done a video on the sort of meta uh, sets for this stuff. I'm using a blast hammer just because he's fairly susceptible to blast. But uh, yeah, let me get these skills up now. So yeah, not particularly complicated. You can see I'm running a Vade Extender uh, as a sort of, because I have the spare slots for it. I could have put a bit more DPS on the set, but I found that Evade Extender was really nice for just giving me that extra bit of uh, ability to reach the ledge. If you're a better aerial hammer than I am, then you won't need that, obviously. But uh, yeah, essential skills are airborne for obvious reasons. And then aside from that, it's just, it's just mostly crit stacking. Between critical eye and weakness exploit at 50, you get to 100 affinity. And then you've just got your sort of standard DPS skills. I do run health boost 3. Uh, quick sheath just comes with the set so don't worry about that but uh, yeah i do run health boost 3. this is obviously frostcraft if you weren't aware you can see i'm running four pieces of Velcana. Uh, i don't show that skill right now on, on this frozen screen but yeah i have a uh, frostcraft which is a pretty uh, by the books for aerial hammer uh, so yeah hopefully that makes sense let me know if you have any questions i'm sorry i haven't been reading the comments as much lately i've been trying to stream a lot more and that between streaming and making videos and stuff there's very little time but uh, I'll, I'll try to be better about it anyway take it easy bye bye